Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are talking about Fort Park Fight Nights. This year they are celebrating 20 years, I think, something like that. <laughs> no. And, we can confirm, we'll be going, won't we Eric? Yes. We've actually booked tickets for the end of October. So, anything we'll talk about, Mostly Eric will be experiencing, because I don't want to All of both of us will be no, experiencing. No, Eric will be experiencing. Whether if Sean likes it or not, he'll be interested in experiencing it. Well, they will be with him, so he'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be coming with him. No one. Anyway. They're not that scary. They are. So, this year there's three scare mazes. I think there's two, two scare zones. And... They've got a, fry and, a, fry, a fr Halloween Fright and Night show and a birthday bash as well. That's a Halloween show, but yeah. Yeah, Halloween birthday bash. So, we're going to talk about each thing. So, I'm going to out read because I can't read out loud. You think I'm any better? <laughs> yes. So, this is. Platform 15, and this has been confirmed to be the last year they're doing it, so. Yep, Thought Park's one-way Halloween train, even though it's bound to come about the same. It's not a train. Okay. <laughs> Final call for all passengers. Depart on a one-way ticket and track along the overgrown railway line. Last known route of the vanished motorway, the notorious Sleeper Express. Don't lose your tracks and, ri don't lose your tracks and risk disturbing the haunted soul that was once aboard. Can you outrun what lies at the end of the line, or will your journey terminate here? Dan, dan, dan. We'll be back if it's platform 13, but you know, <laughs> <first> one goes. <laughs> this is not included in your Friday night ticket entry. You have to be that bit. Yeah. have to be that because you end up going and realise, oh, it's not actually part of my ticket. So you know that now. There we are. I'm sure, not last year, year before, that the mazes were included in your ticket. Anywhere that murder knows. No, 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 no. No, I'm sure. I'm sure at Fort Park in 2019, no, it wouldn't be 2019, yes, it would have, that the mazes were included. I'm sure they were. I'm going to throw back at the blog. Merlin, do not do any no, mazes for free. That's on towers. Anywhere where they're, they're I'm, I'm going to pick The one. scare, the, also not, not the, not the mazes, the other one, the scare zones, they're free. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But I'm sure there was. I'm sure they're free. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. So that's platform, uh, platform 15. 15. I almost said 13. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, there's a new scare maze experience. Immerse yourself in a dimension of nostalgia as you take your seat and journey into a gruesome and spidey chilling collection of horror classics. But will you make it past the trailers? Witness the power of a film come to life this Halloween at the Super Spark Cinema, a picture house with a shocking reputation. From demonic monsters to killer clowns, no fear will go unmissed as you find yourself stuck inside a never-ending loop of terror with no escape. So grab your ticket and tuck into your popcorn, the trailers are about to begin. Recommend for ages 13 plus. <laughs> this is not good in your fight, bar. fight night ticket. Yes. <laughs> when I first saw that, I immediately thought, oh, it's just going to be using Darren Brown's VR thing, isn't they? See, but when I first saw that, before I read that, I thought it was going to be in the cinema. It is in the cinema. But when you think about it, I thought it would be the VR headset, but it isn't. It's the cinema. Yeah. Which I've never actually been to. No, I've never been. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you want it? Yeah. Yes, boss. Sorry. We've got to do them in a certain order. Why did you take them in a certain order? I did, but I, I missed out half the thing. You gave a guy one job. Said you last week. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last week. True. So, the most intense Halloween maze in the history of Fright Nights is back. I mean, it's the scare, the uh, sword one, then. What? 
thought Paul would used to have the soul scare me so they've stopped me. Oh. Uh, how much wood would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop you? <laughs> I'm surprised actually. I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> I'm surprised I made it to him that sentence. Yeah, me. Hacking their way back into the abandoned creek wood sawmill, the buckwheats are back with a vengeance. Brace yourself and prepare for the gruesome worst as you take on the chainsaw welding maniacs. Will you survive the madness? If you're looking for a maze that scares you, we can truly. We mean truly terrified. <coughs> terrifies you. This extreme maze experience is set to be the most intense scare maze in the UK. <coughs> Excuse me. There is no scary maze game. This is the ultimate Halloween maze attraction. Brace yourself and prepare for the worst as you take on the gruesome chainsaw massacre madness that lies within Creek Freak Massacre. We're done playing scary games. This is the most extreme Thor Park scare maze that ever opened. Creek Freak Massacre is not included in your park entry ticket. <laughs> I haven't actually put an age on this one. Can they? No. Which one I won't be doing for sure because I'm that, that was too bad. Ah, I mean, maybe kids, they may meant to be the scariest thing, but ah, kids are not. Really. I'm sure. There's probably a mistake in the website. Yeah. So, so after the scare mazes, which one are you looking forward to most? I'm not. <laughs> Why did I invite you? <laughs> I'm glad <it> now. <laughs> he will be dragged. I won't. Into the scare mazes. Um, <laughs> you you didn't in, you you didn't do it in three and so. I think most of them just didn't do that one that oh, I yeah. wanted to do and never did. But yeah, so what what sounds the most appealing to you and what's your thoughts and non-negative thoughts? I mean, if I'm gonna do it, um the trailer one sounds quite good. Yeah, so I reckon it will be like a four D cinema kind of thing. Yeah, it probably will be. Um, that Freak Creek, Freak Creek Massacre one, last yeah. year they all ran out screaming in it, screaming, so... Well, <laughs> is that meant to be the new one? No, the new one is the trailer's one. No, but they just... Oh, oh they bought it back. Yeah, they bought it back. Oh, okay. And then Platform 15 I have done. Um, so one Platform one 15 isn't that bad. So you can do it again. I'll do that one, yeah. But I won't do it, I probably won't do the trailer's one. And the others? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the tickets for the fight for the yeah, scare zones are ten pound each, or you can buy. I think you can buy a ticket for ten for twenty seven pound or something like that, and they give you one access to everything or something like that. access to all three, I think. And I don't know. I need to get the confirmed if there's a million pounds discount. Probably not. Um, I don't think there was one last year. I don't think we paid last year. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, so that's the scare mazes. So now, Holly Dally went last year. I did go last year. Last year of twenty twenty. And Holly Dally went there. Uh, no, I did. It was an open, was it? Yes. Oh, well, I remember. <laughs> it was, was open in the pandemic. It was. Ill. It was just before the third, second lockdown. Okay. October. I think. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. It's only lockdown, so. Yeah. So, for the scare zones. Okay. So this is a swarm The first one, Sean's Uh I'll do the scare zones. I don't mind the scare zones. I wonder if... I wonder if they're going to do what one cows do, where you got two different levels of scare zone. Depending on the day, uh, the time you go. So one time I was used to have like the yeah, kids they do and then have the adults. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to do that. I don't think they do. No. Nah. Okay. Yes, I did go last year because I was in the one of the scare zones, and the woman uh, was staring at me and called me Neggy, and I had to run out because she was chasing me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the first scare zone is the Swarm Invasion. Enter a dystopian wasteland after, after dark as the Swarm has invaded, leaving a path of carnage and desolation in its wake. 
Head with caution as you pass through this alien infested landscape and pray you aren't abducted by those overworldly extraterrestrials. The Sean, I mean the swarm invasion. The end is now. This is included in your ticket. I think I've missed one. Anyway, uh, why I just. Aged 13 plus. I'm just going to. I think I have missed one. Anyway, go to the next one while I find the other one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We've also got Creeks Freaks Unchained Scare Zone. The blades of Creekwood Sawmill are spinning once again, and the deranged Buckwheat family are back, breaking havoc in their pursuit to find new recruits. Watch your back as you pass these vindictive lumberjacks, and hope you make it to the other side. It is included in your ticket. Ages 13 plus. So that, that's a show. Uh, sure it's not that? No, it's this one. That sounds like it's a. Uh... No, they're the crow. They're going to be walk. They walk around the park. Okay. And that's a show. That's the get. That's how we get it. We did. That's not. Yeah, That's everything. That's it. So which one did you miss? That one. <laughs> their battery. No, it was their battery on there. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> All the same thing. Um, <laughs> And the last one, Werewolf and Vampire Scare Zone. That, 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 that's what it's called. The thir bloodthirsty teens of Amity High are partying at the old speedway. Vibes are high until the students of Lycanthorpe Gate crash, uh, Gate crash the celebrations, reuniting the vicious feud between the rival schools. No one knows how bitter this rivalry how this bitter rivalry started, and how it will end. But amidst the chaos, our two star-crossed lovers kept apart by this toxic fruit. They say love conquers all, but will it win this time, or will the night end in tragedy? It is included in your ticket. Ages 13 plus. It just sounds like they're trying to copy, make it like a werewolf and a vampire <laughs> version of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that's everything. I don't think I miss anything. There is two. There, what was there? The, Birthday Bash, which was a, a show. Halloween show. Halloween show. And <coughs> something else as well. Yeah, so, so it doesn't seem like the Scare Mazes have two That's different... That's Legacy. So it doesn't seem like the Scare Mazes, uh, not Scare Mazes, Scare Zones have two, two levels at different times, depending... So that would have been nice to have, because then you can have like the kids having fun. I do but think there will be more intense in the dark, though. Just naturally, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure they increase the scares. As well. Who knows? I don't know. But they don't advertise it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Seems a bit weird, but I say it seems all pretty good. I say. Uh, we've also got the crows as well walking around during the the night and stuff, so that'll be interesting to see them. No? Are you excited for your first Friday nights? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come <Yeah>. then! <laughs> that'll be interesting, not too. Really. <laughs> nice to actually be able to use my moon pass after God knows how many uh, months of not being able to. But, uh, yeah. We used it all on towers. Once. And that pool. Yeah, we did actually. <laughs> well, it'd be nice to finally use them more than twice the whole time. <laughs> it's not worth it unless you go places, you know. So yeah. Don't think I'm going to get a loss, but... Well, at least you're not paying monthly. That's true. That's the only way I can afford it. Yeah. So it'll be quite interesting. Unfortunately, we will not be staying on the Thorpe Park Hotel. No, because it's... Just... Yes. Stupidly expensive. It's quite expensive um, per person, which is a bit, bit, bit of a pain, really. So we're going, having to take the train because apparently taking the train and then having a hotel in London is cheaper. So I have to just show on this one. I haven't worked out. We've never done it. How we well, how we're doing it? This is the first time we're doing it. Yeah, that's when we stayed in a 
Staying in the hotel in London the night before, then go to Fort Park, staying the night there. We've never come back. Yeah. So this is the first time we've done it, so. Mm -hmm. Trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah, we'll also we'll, we'll walk into details after this, but <laughs> that's basically the, the plan is we are only spending one day there. And I've got to turn my phone off. Uh, yeah, it's gone up a few times yeah. now, Eric. <laughs> I've been ignoring it, but it keeps going off. Um, and so we, we're only staying there one night. Um, uh, so yeah, it'll be quite interesting. I'm sure Sean will be vlogging the, uh, the experience, so keep an eye out for that when it arrives. Obviously, we'll wait in a few months because obviously it's in October. So. End of October. So it'll come out in November. <laughs> <laughs> That seems like ages away, but it's really not. Yeah. At least I'll have my second job by then, so it's good. Oh, yeah, of course you will. When are you having it? September? No, no, it's September. Right. Is that it? Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I think that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know what, you, what may you, you, you be doing if you, if you are going to Fight Night uh, this year. Remember, you have to pre-book. I suggest doing it now. Uh, because it will sell out. Tickets sell out quickly. Yes. Uh, as we learned in London, we couldn't do any of the main attractions because they all sold out. So I suggest booking it as soon as possible. Um, especially for a Merlin um, Pass holder, owner. Because they will sell out before the paid tickets. Uh, um, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.